Hi there, Release Fire here. So I've just found a cool function that I've kind of heard in the game previously in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but never really explored, and it's how to use wishing pieces because they can be used to kind of game things in the wild a little bit around max raid battles. So you can check whether or not you've got any wishing pieces by coming into your other items, scrolling on down. You might need to head on down quite a way, but you should find your wishing pieces in there. If you haven't actually got any, I'll be covering how to get more wishing pieces towards the end of the video. But as you can look around, I don't have too many max raid battles in my skyline. I only have this one here, and it happens to be a five starer. But if I don't want to take it on, there is an option to get additional max raid battles. And essentially what you need to do is come up to these ones that are, don't have the light on them, click on them once and that will give you a small amount of watts and then click on them again and that will give you an option to throw in a wishing piece and that will activate that den as a max raid battle and you can see this one is a four star max raid battle so it's probably a little bit easier if I want to use this to level up a Pokemon before taking on the five star and then you can replicate that a number of times for any of the dens that don't have existing max raid battle beacons. So that gives you an opportunity to continue to take on max raid battles that you can beat even when you get up against five starers that are a real struggle. But that only becomes an option if you can get more wishing pieces and the good news is that you can buy them from this guy out on giant seat in the wild and they cost 3000 watts. Now once you've completed the game you'll actually get 2000 watts just by pressing on a den. So there is a possibility of being able to just go to a den, pick up the watts, go to another den, pick up the watts, go and buy yourself a wishing piece and keep on taking on max raid battles that you can comfortably take on without necessarily worrying about five star max raid battles that are literally impossible for where you are in the game. That way you can still level up and continue to grow within Pokemon Sword and Shield. So that is how to use wishing pieces. Hopefully the video helps you out. As ever, all of your support is massively appreciated, so drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left-hand side. You can see the rest of my guide for Pokemon Sword and Shield with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments below, and I will catch you next time.